It's Saturday the 4th of September. Yep, that's right, it's September already. This year has absolutely flown by. Well, this is workshop vlog number 20. Let's jump in and do it. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're all doing well. Now like I said, this is workshop vlog number 20. I haven't done one in a month or two, so I said it's time maybe to do a quick vlog, check in with you guys, see how you're all doing and just give you some updates on the channel and what I'm actually at here in the workshop. Now like I said, it is September. This year has absolutely flown by, so we're heading into the winter months now. Days are starting to get shorter, things are starting to get a little bit cooler, so we've got to start thinking about workshop maintenance now, especially on the hand tools and all the cast iron surfaces on old machine so I'll do a little upcoming video preparing everything for the winter months I get a lot of moisture in my workshop uh, it gets kind of humid in the winter very wet winters in Ireland and it's hard to keep the rust away it is a never-ending battle but with a little bit of preparation you can get yourself through the winter and get your nice hand planes and your cast iron tops and your machines out the other side of the winter and uh, in pretty good condition so we do a little video on that so that's kind of where we are we're getting into the winter months like I said so yeah we need some tool prep coming up Okay, so a little bit about what I've been doing and what's coming up and what's happening with the channel and what's going on with the workshop. Now, first thing I want to address is I haven't been posting as much content lately as I would have liked. Um, that's due to work or my day job as an electrician. We're extremely busy at the minute. We have a couple of large contracts that all started at the same time. So we're working long days and weekends to try and catch up and added to the fact that I also got COVID. So my business partner tested positive for COVID. I got tested, I tested negative. Uh, one of the pharmaceutical companies I work for require a negative test five days after last contact. So I got tested again five days later and it came back positive. Now I was completely asymptomatic, no symptoms whatsoever. I didn't even know I had it. I sound a little bit bunged up now, but that's just a sinus thing. It's nothing to do with COVID. And I'm out of isolation since last Wednesday, but that put us two weeks behind. So we had three like jobs start at the one time and we had to isolate for two weeks and uh, they were time critical jobs. So we're really playing catch up now at the minute and the work keeps coming me so it's hard to get back on top of it so the month of September I'm not going to get as many videos up as I would like so don't worry if you don't see much content for me for over the next few weeks it's not that I'm stopped or that I'm not doing YouTube anymore or anything like that it's just that I'm extremely busy and we are now two weeks behind but luckily enough I'm good to go my business partner he's fine he was just a few flu like symptoms for a couple of days like I said I didn't even have any symptoms I didn't even know I had it and I'm all good to go so I'm one of the lucky ones I know a few people who got it really bad I know a few people who have long COVID as well and that's not much fun whatsoever so uh, I'm counting my blessings that I was asymptomatic and that I'm good to go I'm fully vaccinated and so is my business partner so uh, that probably helped as well which is not a bad thing so yeah that's where the channel is at at the minute that's why the videos aren't coming up as much just that I'm extremely busy and we're two weeks behind so there you go now what else have I been doing well I've just taken part in my first ever podcast. So I was on the Tradeify podcast with Tradeify CEO Michael Steckler and just basically talking about my day job and life as an electrician and how I run my business and stuff like that. So it was quite enjoyable. It was nice and short and sweet. Um, yeah, it was my first podcast. It's always a little bit difficult, I think, to have conversations on Zoom calls, especially with the headgear and stuff like that. But yeah, I quite enjoyed it. So if you guys want to check it out, I will link it below. You can go check it out. Like I said, it's nice and short. It's only about a half an hour long, but it was my first ever podcast. And uh, yeah, I'm might do a few more podcasts if the opportunity arise um, we'll see how it goes but that was my first one so like I said I'll link it below and if you guys want to check it out feel free to do so okay now I'm going to answer a few questions that came up a lot over the last few videos that I did first on the Japanese joints that I was making uh, both on YouTube and on Instagram where I shared them people were asking about why was I squirting water on the end grain well this was actually a little tip that some of you guys gave me when I made my first Japanese joint about pairing end grain so if you squirt a little bit of water on end grain it just softens it up a little bit and it makes it so much easier to pair it makes an absolute massive difference small squirt of water wait a few seconds and it makes it so much easier and I was making these joints with hard maple which is pretty hard to pair as it is so uh, yeah I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment but I like working with maple even though it is quite a, kind of hard but that little squirt of water on the end grain it's an absolutely great tip I'm not sure which one of you guys told me about that but uh, somewhere in the comments on some of my videos you guys were telling me about it and believe me it's a great tip it absolutely works so that's why I was squirting some water on the joints to make the end 
membrane easier to pair. Now, my last video that I made went down quite well, and that's where I went through my tool cabinet on the tools that I actually use all the time, which ones I um, bought, which ones I wasted my money on, and which ones, like I said, I use and don't use. Now, um, I'm not actually getting rid of any of my tools, so that was one of the questions you guys asked me, what am I gonna put in place of the tools that I took out? I only took them out to illustrate um, which tools I actually use all the time and which ones are kind of just for show. So yeah, the tools aren't going anywhere. I'm still a toolaholic. I would probably add tools to this, but uh, the whole point of that video was just to show any guys getting into hand tool woodworking. You don't have to have all these, just a couple of hand tools is all you really need to make most of the projects that I've made on my channel. So like a couple of chisels, my number five and a half, some marking and measuring tools, and two hand saws, that's all you really need. But uh, the tools aren't going anywhere guys, they're all staying there and I will add more tools in the future. Okay, the next question that came up a lot was about the bandsaw. I'll address that in a second, but a quick update on the bandsaw itself. It's working absolutely brilliantly. Um, I'm absolutely delighted with it. It's so nice to be able to run long boards through this with accurate straight cuts. It is extremely easy. It's a great machine. I have a full video on setting this up and also the unboxing of it. If you guys want to check it out, it's the Axiomister Trade AT3327B and I'm absolutely delighted with it. I've also added a wheel kit to it. Now the guys at the carpentry store in Nace. They actually sent me that wheel kit. I didn't pay for it myself, but it's absolutely great. It's one of those wheel kits that will fit onto any machine. You can assemble it to any size you want. You just jack it up, up onto the wheels, and you can wheel anything in and out. Now, it's nice to be able to wheel this um, bandsaw in and out so I can run long boards down there and it doesn't actually hit into my lathe. Now, question some of you guys kept asking, and it's just the fact that I didn't have a zoomed out shot. You were asking me, why did I have no dust extraction on my bandsaw? Uh, why was that taped up? Well, as you can see down here, there is a dust extraction port. This one actually has two dust extraction ports and I just haven't gotten round to splitting that 100 mil or four inch pipe into two sections to add one here and here. So I've just taped this one up for now and I'm extracting from the lower port. That's all, it does have dust extraction, I just haven't gotten around to fitting the top one just yet, that's it. But yeah, bandsaw itself working absolutely perfectly. Now another thing I've been trying out are some more of these Souter Shop clamps. So these ones are actually sent to me, these are their new F clamps. You guys will have seen the body clamps, I've used them in a couple of videos and I've actually given some of them away. They are actually fantastic, they are absolutely bulletproof. And uh, everything I've gotten from Souter Shop so far has been great. I can't really fault it. They make stuff that's absolutely bomb proof and bulletproof. Now, like I said, these were sent to me. I didn't buy them with my own money, so you guys just need to understand that. But uh, if they were rubbish, believe me, I would tell you that they're rubbish. But these again are absolutely bomb proof. They're really heavy, really sturdy. It's all metal. Uh, these are 300 millimeter ones and 300 by 120 millimeter. So that's 12 inches by six inches. Um, yeah, really nice. They come in all different lengths, extremely strong. I'm really enjoying using them and are really nice and simple to use. So yeah, definitely check them out guys. If you're in the market from some strong, sturdy F clamps, these are the Souter Shop ones, really nice indeed. Okay guys, so that's kind of it for this workshop vlog. Just a quick check in with you guys, let you know what's happening and what's coming up and where am I and what am I doing and why I'm not posting as much as uh, I would like to. And now you guys know I'm just two weeks behind and unbelievably busy in work. Now, the channel is about to hit 50,000 subscribers, so we will have to mark that occasion with a subscriber giveaway. I might even have some of those really nice uh, Souter Shop F clamps to give away to some lucky subscriber just to mark the 50,000 mark as well so that's absolutely fantastic and it's all down to your support guys that I can continue to make these videos so thanks for all your comments your questions your likes your shares your feedback it's absolutely brilliant thanks to all the lovely emails that you guys send me as well especially your photographs of your projects I've had photographs now on my planter video from everything every continent on earth someone has made one of those planters and have sent me photographs from South America to Australia to India uh, all across Europe and America as well. I've had photos from all, people's gardens from all over the world, which is absolutely mind blowing and great to see and really spurs me on to make more content. So feel free guys to shoot me some photographs of your projects, send me an email. I love to read them. It's absolutely brilliant. And thanks again. And special thanks to everybody over on Patreon who continue to support the channel. I know I haven't got much Patreon related content up lately guys, but I'm extremely busy and it's hard just to get even content for the main channel. So uh, your patience is very,
very much appreciated over there as well. So that's it guys, I'm going to get out of here now. The next video I hope to have out is maybe some winter maintenance prep for hand tools and the machines. I'll show you what I do in our shop and we get ready for woodworking over the winter months. So until then guys, I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.